Welcome back, everyone. Well, one organization is trying to make a difference in young people's lives. Peacemakers is a nonprofit planning to go into Lynchburg, where a 15-year-old was shot in the chest. And, of course, joining us live is Mr. William Richards and Kenneth Hunter. Good morning. How y'all feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. Good, good, good. So talk to us, first of all, your reaction to the 15-year-old who was shot in the chest. You, sir. Well, first, uh, 13 years ago, you know, I was the same young man you know, with a gun in my hand, mm -hmm. doing what I felt like I needed to do right. to, to survive whatever my circumstances. So the first thing I did was identify, and I felt his pain, mm -hmm. and I realized it was something that was missing. You know, we, that, that, that element of peace, that's something that we are creating, mm -hmm. it was missing. Got it. So you feel so like... So identified. Identified something was not, not right with that situation. I, right. Gotcha. And then at the same time, I identified with the same behavior mm -hmm. because I know I used to be that person. Gotcha. I had that rage or I had that misunderstanding and it took me to wherever it took me. Gotcha. Mr. Kenneth, your reaction? Well, I was sad um, by something that is happening all too often in our communities. Mm -hmm. um, there's a degree of relief that in this particular instance, this young man didn't die, but all too often, individuals are passing away mm -hmm. and it's becoming more and more frequent. So I was saddened. Um, I also have children, you know, grandchildren. Wow. <laughs> you know, so you get really worried about the community and the state of the community as it relates to our everyday life and our own safety. Beautiful. So talk about what your plan is today. Well, today we are going to the 7,000 block of the Timberlake area in Lynchburg where this shooting happened. Um, this is what the peacemakers have done consistently. We try to be proactive as opposed to reactive, but today we're going to go on the scene and we're going to go down there and march and talk about uh, how we're going to keep these neighborhoods safe from mm -hmm. here on out. And how many people plan on coming with you all? It's wh whoever shows up. There we go. <laughs> it's there this we go. Is about the community. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we have no problem being the vanguard and stepping out because we're going to do our duty. Right. We're going to canvas. We're going to knock on doors. We're going to give information. We're going to give you this ribbon. We're going to say you in unity yeah. with you nonviolence. Okay, if that's what you're about, then step out here with us because we are here to keep the community safe and take a village. And so what other information? You said there's a ribbon and some packets of information. Right. What, what well, are you giving? I mean... If you have views that we can get into Job Corps. Yes. You know, we can get you local jobs. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of us have jobs locally, and we might be able to tap into something that can set you up for a better future. Yeah. So, so we got all sorts of type of information. And then the ribbon, the ribbon represents the, the stand in unity for nonviolence. Gotcha. So we ask that everybody put it on their door. Beautiful, beautiful. Lindsay? So, I mean, talk about, you know, the goal. I, mean, I know that you've said, you know, it's all about just reaching out to youth, making sure that they know they have other options. But what else is your mission? I mean, talk about what it means to you to be a part of that and what you really hope comes out of doing this work. Well, ultimately, like I said, the mission is to be proactive as opposed to reactive. So we want to start getting to the core and the source of what is causing these problems. These kids are not savages or animals. They're miseducated, uh, dealing with abject poverty. Uh, also, culturally, you know, there are some improvements we need to make. So we're trying to get in the neighborhoods, offer resources to reverse this trend. These kids need to be educated, and we want to get out there and hopefully be able to mediate teach conflict resolution, and um, do it at such a rate that we can directly impact these communities uh, the way the peacemakers have been doing so, thus far. And when will this happen? Do we all go into the neighborhoods at what time today? Four o'clock today. Four o'clock. Four Four o'clock. We're going to be there. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, Mr. William Richards and Kenneth Deuce Hunter from Peacemakers, we do appreciate y'all being here. See, I told you four minutes just fly by like that. Like I see, you really were. Yeah, you <laughs> were right. So yeah. appreciate y'all, appreciate yeah, the opportunity. Thank, thank you. Definitely appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Chris?